the same DSS that has waded in to the strike with the Cattle Herders Association, they, they have invited those people. But they have not invited these governors to shed more light into these people terrorizing Nigeria. But I, I will answer by asking a question. Where is the commander-in-chief? I, I don't know if you can tell me. Where is the commander-in-chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Well, you have to answer the question yourself. Dr. Fati, I don't know. My simple answer is that I do not know where the commander-in-chief is. There is a clear lacuna in the presidency. You can't convince me to the contrary. When the, somebody went to the ballot, this is a man who sought power for 12 years, 2003, 2007, 2011. He wanted to be president by all means. Nigerians gave him a chance in 2015. Despite his failures, the mandate was renewed in 2019. And as of today, we are being ruled by proxy. Gabashe is the one issuing you know, offensive statements every day telling us what the president is saying as if the president is incapacitated. Where is the president of Nigeria? Because when these governors are saying these things, where some of them pretend to be helpless or are genuinely helpless, where is the commander-in-chief? We saw our, you know, Air Force men who were involved in the unfortunate air disaster mishap. They were buried. The president was not there. Our troops are being slaughtered in the north. The president is not there at their funeral. When last did the president talk to Nigerians? When last did we see the president grant a media charge? When last did we see the president speak with the victims of these kidnaps? When last did we see the president personally taking responsibility for the killings and the rampage that is going on? So if somebody is telling me that I have a president, I will raise an objection. Because the president that I want should not be a decorative president. It shouldn't be a portrait that, you know, is occasionally brought out for photo ops just to have some form of proof of life. Why have we lowered the bar? Why have we reduced this responsibility? When governors are making these incendiary comments, the other time you had the governor of Bauchi State coming out to say, oh, headsmen can carry arms. They are justified to carry AK-47. You have the governor of Zamfara State saying, I will still continue to dialogue with bandits, with terrorists. You have the governor of Niger State saying a different thing. What you are seeing is a nation in crisis. It's a nation in peril. It's a nation that is lacking in direction and leadership. And, you know, we keep trying to be politically correct. The reality at that today is that nobody can tell me that I have a commander-in-chief. You cannot be commanding from your bedroom. Okay. You have okay. to lead from the front. That was what he promised. Okay. He said he will lead from the front. Okay. Today he's not even leading from the back. Okay. I, I want to quickly get your reaction still as well.